Folks, I'm just having this revelation that all of these companies that did not call themselves after God's personal names are rapidly dying before our eyes. Like they are just destined to perish um, because of the God food revelation. I mean, that's going to be massive in all this, but it's just the truth. Like you think of the name, like they're all stupid because none of them pegged God's personal names for their name. So exactly like Walmart, what a dumb name. What a stupid name. It does not make people think about God, and therefore, it's not blessed by God. And I can see with my eyes that Walmart is going to go up in smoke if it doesn't repent and get its act together. Like the same thing with Adidas, the real Canadian superstore, Save On Foods, Safeway. These buildings and these companies are not named after God's personal names. Therefore, they don't make people think about God. Therefore, they're depraved of the wisdom of God. God food is going to trounce all of these companies. And no one's going to care. And all of these companies are getting exposed as the godless fools that they are. They just are. Far from God. Therefore, far from wisdom. And the stuff that they present to people is just trash. It's all a distraction. They're clutter houses. There's nothing more satanic than a giant clutter house that distracts people from the very best. That's why I'm saying, but I'm just having this total revelation that God is so passionate about his personal names. And God is so fierce about being thought about and worshipped and spoken of that... Walmart is a crappy name. It's a crappy name. It was from the beginning and it is today. It does not make people think about God and therefore it's destined to die. I'm here to tell you the truth like a true prophet. Theobroma cacao, which means God food, which is the cat's meow for con human consumption and happiness, that is a name that pleases God because it makes people think about God. It makes people say God. Are you getting this? If you read the scripture from beginning to end and you spend as much time in prayer as I do, you realize that God is so fiercely passionate about being loved and thought about and thanked and worshipped at all times, everywhere. And any stupid building or company, I don't care how many people are in it, if it's not branded with God, okay, even worse, if there's secular music on the inside, it's headed for the dumpster. It's going to get labeled in the loony bin in the history of the books. Okay? I'm not even serious. It's time for people to get real about glorifying God in the buildings they erect and work in and the company brands and the names that they work for. Okay? So I'm just going to be honest. I mean, God food is just going to trounce all of these businesses and expose them all as foolish. Okay? And, but it all makes sense to me, okay, because God cares so much about his personal names being glorified. God is so fiercely passionate about being worshipped and thought of. Oh, do not underestimate how fierce God is for your love. Do not underestimate how jealous God is for your mind share. Do not underestimate just how on fire God is that every human must think about him 24-7, must worship him 24-7, must glorify him 24-7, must put his names on their letterheads, their businesses, their buildings above anything else. Otherwise, God will trash you. He'll just say, forget it. These people are foolish. They do not worship me. Okay, so I'm just here to tell you the brands that are destined to just fade away in history in Jesus' name. Walmart. That doesn't make me think about God. Not at all. The real Canadian superstore. Sickening. That doesn't make me think about God. Save on Foods. That doesn't make me think about God. Safeway. That doesn't make me think about God. Adidas. That doesn't make me think about God. Nike. That doesn't make me think about God. I'm here to tell you, all of these things are destined to pass away. All of these brands, they're just like, oh, well, that was foolish. Do not underestimate just how serious God is 
about his personal names being published everywhere, being placed everywhere, being promoted everywhere, being thought of everywhere, being placed on buildings everywhere, at the tops of every building, at the tops of every home, at the tops of everything in this universe. Clothing, you name it. Otherwise, God says, I'm sorry, this just isn't good enough. I'm not being worshipped. I'm not being thought of. See you guys later. I will not work my miracles among you. I will not pour out my wisdom and blessings upon you. You will live in poverty because you're not glorifying me and you're not worshipping me and you're not putting my names at the top of your businesses, at the top of everything. Furthermore, if you allow secular music in your building, God has totally left the building and the whole place is headed straight for the dumpster. I'm just here to tell it like it is. Okay? The Church of Jesus Christ and every building, okay, of to the glory of Jesus Christ, dedicated to the glory of God, Okay, that will last. That pleases God. Clothing that is branded with God's personal names. That pleases God. Okay? I'm just saying, folks, it just it's all very clear to me. You know? It's just God food will trounce all this stuff. It's like Amazon. <laughs> that doesn't make me think about God. The founder certain, certainly doesn't talk about God. Guess what? He li he's living in foolishness. He doesn't have any wisdom. He doesn't even drink any God food. He's totally poor. He doesn't, he doesn't even know what happiness or gratification feels like. He's totally foolish. He's totally poor. He lives in poverty. He's a pauper. Have you not realized yet that wisdom is wealth? God deprives the godless of wisdom. People who do not seek God and desire to glorify God get no wisdom from God. They may get dollars galore. But they get no wisdom, and they'll spend those dollars on the stupidest things you can imagine. That's it. That is their just reward from God. You have got to make a decision that you're going to do everything that you can to try and live a life that glorifies God. It has to glorify His personal names, which is why I'm starting you off easy with something that everyone can do that associates their life with the name of God. No matter what your age is, what your background is, whether you have any religious upbringing or you're scared or you don't have deep faith or you haven't gone that deep with the Lord or don't have a whole lot of depth or haven't done a lot of scripture study or gematria or anything, everyone can start out by drinking their pure natural cocoa powder with water, which is internationally called Theobroma cacao, which means God food. Everyone can do that. You can do something easy in your life Okay, for the glory of God's personal name, that when you start doing it, mark my words, God will start speaking to you and God will start doing really cool things in your life because you've made that choice and you've taken that step of faith to do something uh, for the glory of God. When you drink your pure natural cocoa powder every single time, okay, you are bringing glory to God, okay, who knows from the dawn of time that it's internationally called Theobroma cacao, which means God food. Okay. Remember, everything in the universe and all blessing hinges upon the greatest commandment. As Jesus, Jesus, God in the flesh, said, what is the greatest commandment? You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. That one commandment governs the rise and fall of every human, every kingdom, every business, every nation, in the world, in history, for all time. Is this person or people group or business or company... Loving the Lord God with all their heart, soul, mind, and strength, if they are, and they're proving it by putting God's personal names on their letterheads, on their buildings, on everything that they do and think about and publish, God is pleased and God pours out his blessing and his providence and the works of their hands will stand in the history books. If they do not, bang! Toast. Nothingness. Okay, you are not obeying the greatest commandment, which is you must, you must, this is not an option, you must, every human being is commanded to love the Lord God with all their heart, with all their soul, with all their mind, with all their strength every single day. Guess what, that, guess what that's going to look like for businesses and branding 
all over this world. God's personal name on the building. And nothing on the inside that displeases the Lord. That's how you'll experience God. That's how you'll enter the blessing of the Lord and the supernatural gifts of God that you've always dreamed of experiencing. I'm sorry, but the name Walmart is not good enough. It does not make me think of God. So are most of the names on the buildings we have today. Not good enough. Not good enough. Not God enough. Do you want to experience the supernatural? You need to promote the personal names of God. God demands to be thought about. God demands to be worshipped. God demands the mind share of every human. Do you not know that God reads every person's mind 24-7? God has been knowing the thoughts and the minds of every human who has ever lived from the dawn of time. He's the mind reader. Google and the AI people will never be able to read human minds, but God alone does. He knows the thoughts of every human worldwide. Okay, And he's searching. He's analyzing. He's looking for the people who think about him the most. And how do you promote your children and the people of your country to think about God the most? You put his names everywhere. It's not rocket science. It's very simple. People have simply failed in the branding of buildings, clothes, cars, trucks, foods, you name it. God's personal names have been shamefully left off and left out of the buildings and all sorts of things. Do you think God is pleased? No. Do you think God is going to bless us and work supernatural ecstasies and blessings in our lives as a result of this madness? No. Do you think we have an opportunity to change our ways and impress God and enter into a level of supernatural blessing that no generation ever experienced before us? Yes. Okay? But it all hinges on man's obedience to the greatest commandment. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. Now, I want to give you a gematria gem from that that will blow your mind. What are the most repeated letters in that English commandment? With all, okay? That makes you say all white. Pure fives, okay? It's the same letters as all wit plus the E, which is five, the number of joy, okay? Wear all white. And by the way, if you're working at a stupid job at a stupid company that does not allow you to wear all white, you have God's permission and invitation to leave immediately. This includes the entire police force of Canada, which as far as I know, is told to wear all black. And it's all cursed and it's all darkness and it's not blessed by God. You have God's permission to walk off the job and not show up and just say, I'm wearing all white in obedience to the word of the Lord and God's going to bless me. That's the truth for every job and business across this country that tells its employees they, they are not allowed to wear all white. God is wearing all white in heaven. Jesus is wearing all white in heaven. All the angels and all the saved and all the elders are wearing all white in heaven. I could go on. Hi, yi, yi. Okay. Okay. Um, God is real, and God is waiting to promote you, and God is waiting to bless you, but you need to take steps of faith to show God that you're serious, okay, about living a daily life that pursues Him and pleases Him, okay, including taking steps of faith. If uh, I've said this one before, I said it earlier today, okay, remember, this is just an invitation to people's freedom, okay, um, freedom is God's will for everyone, okay, um, um, uh, dress codes that dress codes in any situation, okay? Uh, whether it's a schoolhouse or a um, a job of some sort that disallow people to wear all white, okay, are not from God. And I'm just here to tell you, as an agent of love and an agent of freedom, that if you will take a simple step of faith 
and leave that job immediately because they do not allow you to wear all white as a part of your uniform, your job function there, then mark my words by God Almighty, you will be blessed for doing so and God will speak to you immediately and he'll bless you and he'll tell you uh, something better that he wants to do in your life and he'll provide for you and pay your bills and just invite you into something higher. Okay? That's the truth. That is the truth. <laughs> that is the truth because, I mean, you know, God is the most joyful person in the entire universe. Um, and when I see someone wearing all white, it brings me tremendous happiness. That's just the way God made it. Um, think of your daughter on her wedding day. Do you want her to be wearing black or do you want her to be wearing all white? You want her to be wearing all white. In fact, the groom should be wearing all white and everyone should be wearing all white. And that just instinctively makes us all happy because the sun is all white and it's just something God ordained. So I'm saying this for everyone's joy and freedom. Okay. Um, if you are currently stuck in a job where they tell you you're not allowed to wear all white as a part of your job, for example, the police, the RCMP, um, many sports teams, like many bars and restaurants, I'm here to tell you by God Almighty, you have God's permission to walk off the job immediately without giving notice, wear all white today, out in the sun, in freedom, and wait upon the Lord until he talks to you lovingly about what your next step in life is. And mark my words, it's going to be an upgrade, it's going to be an improvement, it's going to be a, a way more incredible happiness than what you were stuck in with that dumb job. I promise you. You're not losing anything, you're only gaining. I'm saying this for people's happiness and freedom. Okay? And for the glory of God. He loves you. He loves you so much. Okay? I, I say this with all the love in my heart to people. Okay? that I know are stuck in these situations, okay? Um, you know, jobs of every sort, okay? Um, uh, that, that tell people they can't wear all white, okay? You have God's permission and encouragement to walk off the job in Jesus' name, okay? And, and he'll love you and lead you into um, something far happier and more joyful and loving in life, okay? And yes, you will be allowed to wear all white every day. Because God likes you. He loves you. Okay? And you're allowed to be free to wear those joyful colors every day. Oh, yeah. You are. Okay? Um, wow. Okay. Oh, so, uh, I think I've said quite enough there. Um, that was pretty intense. But the reality is, I'm here to uh, call this human race as high as possible. Um, so that we can all please and experience God as much as possible. Um, like I said, it all comes down to the greatest commandment um, that we would all be loving the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, and with all our strength. And remember, with all is saying the letters all white. That's a revelation from God. With all, with all, with all. Guess what letters you've just spoken in the ordinance of God? All white. It's all fives, and then all white adds the E, which is another five. See that? You shall love the Lord your God with all, with all, with all, with all. That is screaming out to you the message, all white. Which is to say, <laughs> God loves seeing people wear all white. Okay, as a sign of victory over the devil, as a sign of maximum joy on this earth, as a sign of readiness for Jesus Christ's return, as a sign of readiness for heaven, as a sign of maximum joy on the inside of them, as a, as a sign, okay, of the holiness and righteousness uh, within them and upon them that was purchased for them by Jesus Christ at the cross. God loves seeing people wear all white, okay? So once again, if, if you're stuck at a job where they tell you you can't wear all white, you officially have God's permission, I promise you, to walk off the job immediately. Even if it's a police job, even if it's a government job, you can, you can do it and God will bless you. And he'll love on you and um, he'll guide you into your future and he'll tell you the next things that he wants for you um, that are totally superior in happiness and love and enjoy for your own life okay um well uh that was a very epic message i'm going to take a short break here and uh that's good for now <laughs>